Okay, here's another example to find the derivative of a, a function. This time we see that we've got multiple terms. Now for multiple terms we just do each term on its own. So each term must be written in the format coefficient x and exponent. Okay, so let's do that first. So f of x is equal, my coefficient is 4, what is my x? x to the power of 0 because there's actually 4 1 4 times 1 okay and x to the power of 0 is equal to 1 plus 7 times x to the power of 1 minus 2 times x to the power of 2 now we have to find the derivative in the point 2 to find the derivative all we do is multiply the exponent with the uh, coefficient and subtract 1 from the exponent so we have here we have 0 times 4 is just 0 so no matter what I have left here this will just be 0 because I'm multiplying this whole term with a 0 okay so one thing you can conclude is that the derivative of a constant function so if f of x is equal to just a number a constant number the derivative will always be 0 okay now for this one 1 times 7 gives me 7. Subtract 1 from here, that would become 0. So this becomes x to the power of 0, which is just 1. Okay, so that from this, we, you can also conclude then when we have f is equal to x times x to the power of 1, in other words, there's just a linear uh, or base with an exponent of 1 for x then the coefficient is multiplied with 1 which so that is for the derivative okay then we get k times x and when we subtract 1 from the exponent we get 0 which is just x to the power of 0 is just 1 so whenever we just have x with a x, uh, coefficient the derivative will just be the coefficient on its own okay minus and the 2 multiply this negative 2 becomes negative 4 x to the power of 1, 2 minus 1 is 1. And there is my derivative. So what is the derivative in the point negative 2? That would be 7 minus 4 times negative 2 gives me plus 8. So 7 plus 8 gives me 15. Sorry, this should be negative 2 because I substituted negative 2. And there we go. That's my answer.